So you may be wondering, why is my stomach making so much noise or why is it growling? Well, in this video today, we'll explain exactly why does it occur, is it normal, what you can do to stop it. If we wait to the very end, I'll give you my recommendations of when you need to see your doctor if this becomes a dangerous situation. Coming up next. So a lot of people come see me and say, hey, Dr. Islam, my stomach is making a lot of noises. Is that normal or it's growling a lot? I have people across the room who are wondering what is going on? Is this a normal thing to have? Well, the short answer to that is yes. It is very normal for your stomach to make a lot of noise. So what is happening is that your GI tract is constantly on the move. But for most of us, whenever we're eating, we don't hear that noise because that noise is muffled by the food that we're eating. But whenever you start to hear that noise, what you're actually hearing is the air moving from your stomach to your small intestine, to your colon, and out the other end. And that is what is going on. So why does it happen? Three main reasons why you have the sensation of growling or a lot of noise. Number one, like I mentioned before, is just the motility or the contraction of your GI tract. Your GI tract is constantly turning around and turning around and moving things even when you're not eating. In fact, most of the movement occurs in between meals. And if you're moving a lot of air inside your GI tract, that could be the noises that you're hearing, that air moving from your stomach through your small intestine to your colon and eventually out the other end. A second reason why you could be hearing a lot of noise is a lot of gas being produced. We produce a ton of gas. Maybe some of you guys produce more gas than others, but that gas can manifest as burping, uh. as farting, or maybe just gas being produced inside the GI tract. And there are a number of reasons why people have that. One is that you could be swallowing way too much air. You may not realize this, but we swallow a ton of air. But for those of us who talk a lot, whenever we eat, just yap, blah, 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 blah. Or those of us that eat very, very quickly, trying to get our food down, in the process of talking a lot and eating a lot, we actually swallow a lot of air. But in addition to that, there are some substances that we cannot absorb properly, and because we can't absorb them, they produce a lot of air. Things like lactose, dairy, cheese, fructose, artificial sweeteners, diet drinks, all of these substances may have things in them that make it more difficult for us to absorb, and because we can't absorb it, it acts like an atomic bomb inside your stomach, and all this gas gets produced. Very common problem to have. And then a third reason is a condition, a fancy term called visceral hypersensitivity. Now what this is, this is very common in patients who have IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. It's like you have very high nerves. Your nerves are super sensitive. The best analogy you have is like having a radio, but the volume turned way up and that volume is so high that everything that you feel is super sensitive. And so that sensation you're feeling of everything moving, your gut making noises, your stomach growling, it is hypersensitive in people who have visceral hypersensitivity. Now, if you're worried about the movement of the air or the growling of your stomach or the noise, here are five tips I recommend to get rid of it. Number one, make sure you're having good bowel movements. Keep in mind, your whole GI tract is one long tube from your esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and colon. If part of your colon is stopped up with a lot of poo, that can back up all the way up into your stomach to produce a lot of gas. And so a lot of my patients who are constipated have a lot of gas which produces a lot of noise and that needs to be fixed. Number two, I would try to eliminate dairy products, things like milk, cheese, items like that. You may have difficulty absorbing those dairy products. I know for me, I am lactose intolerant. If I take dairy products, man, whoa. My wife gets so mad at me, it is terrible. More terrible for her than for me, but I know for a fact that for me, dairy is an issue and it might be for you. Number three is I would try to eliminate artificial sweeteners. A lot of things that we have, whether it's artificial sweeteners that we put into our coffee, 
cream, diet drinks, or even regular items like ketchup have artificial sweeteners in them to obviously sweeten up the product. These are low calorie or no calorie sweeteners, but for a lot of people, they cannot digest them. Look for things that end in OSE, O S E, maltose, dextrose, sucrose, lactose, fructose. These are items that you should look for in ingredient labels because this may be a reason why you're having a lot of gas. Number four, eat slowly. You may be one of those who is rushing through lunch, rushing through dinner because you're busy with work. Well, if you do that, there is a good chance you're just swallowing a whole bunch of air. And then number five, if you're using a straw, don't do that. <laughs> Guys, these straws are, are they're great for drinks, but look at the act of what you're doing. You're, you're trying to suck up a drink. When in the process of doing that, there's a very good chance you're gonna suck up air as well. And that air will go into your stomach, make a lot of noise, and cause you to have people to hear what's going on. In the vast majority of time, having a lot of noise in your stomach is not a big deal and it's nothing to worry about. However, there are a couple of warning signs I want you to know about. And if you have these, make sure you speak to your healthcare provider. Number one, if you have a lot of nausea and vomiting associated with stomach gurgling, make sure you speak to somebody about that because that could be a sign of an obstruction or something being blocked inside your GI tract. Number two, you should not have a significant amount of abdominal pain. If there's a lot of pain associated with the noise inside your stomach, that is not normal, that needs to be further investigated. And number three, if you start to notice yourself getting full more quicker than normal, your appetite's not doing so good, or you just don't feel like eating, that is not a normal thing to have, that needs to be further investigated. But in the vast majority of people, if you don't have these symptoms, it really is not a big deal if your stomach makes a lot of noise. So my question of the day for you guys, what have you done to help minimize the noise in your stool? Comment down below, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. I wanna thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button and please share this video if you know of somebody who may be interested. If you're interested in learning more about what you can do for your gut health, don't forget to click here. Or if you want to know more about what you can do to protect your colon health, click here. Guys, stay happy and stay healthy. To your small intestine, to your colon, and out the other end. And that is, whoa, excuse me. But another, but a second reason why you can be seeing, seeing. Now, in the vet, now, is it normal for your stomach to make so much noise? <coughs> oh, that was terrible. Does your stomach make so much noise that it wakes up your significant other? Well, if it does, that sucks. All right, thanks guys.